Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made me will rejoice and be glad in it. This week we've been looking at the book of Mark chapter 2 and we've read all the way to verse number 10. We'll read verse 10 again to verse number 12 as we pick our, our fifth lesson. Verse 10 says, But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. So he said to the man, I tell you, get up, take your mat and go home. He got up, took his mat and walked out in full view of them all. This amazed everyone and they praised God saying, we have never seen anything like this. Praise the Lord. From verse number one to verse 12, this is where Jesus forgives and heals the paralytic man. And through and through, we read that the people heard that Jesus had come home in Capernaum and they gathered in large numbers. As they came, the Bible says that there was no room left, even at the door, there was no way that somebody could pass through, even outside the door. And here comes a team that was carrying the paralytic man, and they were determined that he must get to where Jesus was. As they found that there was no way, the Bible says that uh, they, 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 they made an opening in the roof above Jesus by digging through it and then lowered the mat the man was lying on. As they did this, Jesus was moved by their faith, such that when he saw their faith, he said to the paralyzed man, Son, your sins are forgiven. The teachers of the law were not happy, and they were wondering, why is he talking like this? And they actually said that this is blasphemy. Who can forgive sin? but God alone. I want us to think through that from verse number one, the people, the crowd, acknowledged who Jesus was and no wonder they gathered to listen to him. But the teachers of law, they did not know who Jesus was. And no wonder they were asking, why is he talking like this? Who can forgive sin? It's only God alone, meaning that they did not really understand who this was. Yet the crowd was gathered to listen to him. The people who came carrying this paralytic man, they knew who this was. And no wonder they had great efforts to ensure that this sick person gets to where Jesus was. They knew who he was. The key thing here is the teachers of law, the teachers of uh, the law, they may have looked as if they knew, yet they did not know. Their minds, their hearts were blind. The crowd could identify who this was. There are times in our faith, in our walk, we seem as if we know, yet our minds, our understanding, our spirits, our everything are so blind that we are so lost. It's unfortunate to look as though you know, yet you don't know. And this is why Jesus is telling them that, uh, but I want you to know, I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. And after saying this, the Bible says that uh, this is what he told the man, get up, take up your mat and go home. Get up, take your mat and go home. Verse 12, he got up took his mat and walked out in full view of them. A man who had been lowered to where Jesus was. Because of the, you know, 
the intervention of Jesus, his command, his word, he got up, took his mat, and walked out in full view of them all. This amazed everyone. They were so amazed and they praised God saying, we have never seen anything like this. The Lord is reminding us that he's in the business of speaking to our situations, telling us, get up, take up your mat and go home. And though we may have come so in a very helpless manner, the moment he speaks to our situations, we will get up and walk in total healing. May the Lord speak to your situation. May he lift you again and may he be gracious to you. Even to speak to your situation, get up, pick up your mat and go home. The Lord is faithful. Let us put our trust in him. And as we are saying, please don't look as if you know. Don't seem to know, yet you don't know. Let us engage with Jesus, who opens up our understanding and gives us new ways to perceive who he is. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have a lovely weekend ahead. God bless you. Shalom.